What's up guys, we are back. So where we left off, we're about to learn a new shout to open up a uh, portal to Patherox, I think his name is. So yeah, let's begin this episode. So we gotta follow Arden here, just waiting for him to get downstairs. Alright, so we're out in the courtyard. So where are we headed? Up here? Oh, that must be it. Right there. And there's a fire. See, like, I don't understand. Why do they make these guys walk so slow? I really don't understand it. Uh, I'm just waiting. 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 Oh, boy. Come on, you guys. Come on. All right. Path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Alright. Clear skies shout. Oh, another one? Core. Core power learn. Sky. Clear skies. I like that name. Clear the skies. <laughs> uh. Core power learn. Spring. Clear skies. Now this one? I will grant you Summer. my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Okay. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving. Stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Okay. I'm a little scared, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save it right here. Um, let's see. Is this? No. This one? It? Uh, Skyving Table. Yeah. Alright. Save, save. Okay. So, now... Well, magic. Sh oh. Shouts. Clear skies. Alright. Oh, here we go. Whoa, shit. Alright. Run. Run. It, re it recharges pretty fast. I'm going. I'm going. Alright. Hey, look, a goat. I uh, can't use it yet. There we go. Excuse me, goat. Oh, shit. Ah. I'm losing health. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Come on. I hate these things. Take this. Just die. Die, please. Yes, I did it. Okay. Let me heal myself a little bit. Alright, so far so good. Ah, another one? I shouldn't have said anything. I really shouldn't have. Ah. Take this. Oh. Damn it, come on. Uh. Whoa. I, it's hard to keep up with these things. Alright, there we go. Wow. My health is going down pretty fast. Alright. Just heal myself a little bit more. Alright, come on, wait. Use it again, use it again. Hurry up. There we go. Heal myself. I'm prepared. Alright, so far so good. Alright. Let's just run now. Da, 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 da. Am I close? Not close enough. Oh shit, is there some No! Another one of these ice raves. I hate them. Take this. Just die, please. Die. Die. Yes. 
Okay. Am I like frozen? Oh no. Alright. Oh boy. Alright. Clear your skies. <gasps> I love using this shout, it's awesome. <laughs> Clear the mist and everything, it's awesome. Really cool. Alright. I think we're good for right now. Uh, Alright. This is, should be the way. Yep, because there's a ribbon there. So I'm heading in the right direction. I think I'm almost there. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Ah! Crap. Woo. I think I... It a little bit too close. I should probably keep a distance when I'm actually using this shout. Throat of the world discovered. Hey, look. Oh, sh oh shit. Really? That's not good. Let's get out my orcish bow. Alright. Greetings, Wundani. He's a dragon? I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovakin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Um, I need to learn the dragon shout. Or the dragon run shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. Uh... The word calls you. Go to it. Alright. I'm at it. Word of power learned, Inferno, Fire Breath. Understand fire as the dove do. <laughs> it's kind of creeping me out. I never expected him to be a dragon. This is actually pretty sick. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me, not as Argonian, but as Dova. Use your fire breath. Alright, let me try it out. Let me also hotkey it. Uh, fire breath. Alright. Alright, oh, alright. Do not be afraid. Fasnu, let me feel the power of your thoom. Oh, I gotta use it on him? Alright. Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. Awesome. Where are you going? So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Can you teach me the dragon wren shout? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. 
Uh, how did you know I came for a dragon rend? Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovahkiin return together. That is true. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Uh, I need to stop Alduin. Yes, Alduin, Zembach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Um... I like this world. I don't want to end. The prophecy says that only the Dragonborn can stop him. I'm gonna go with the second one. Hmm... True. But Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak. Just because you can do a thing, does not always mean you should. Right. <laughs> do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? No, I'm not. I, um, what better reason to act? I don't believe in destiny, but I will stop and Alduin. I'm gonna go with this one. And so, perhaps your destiny will be fulfilled, who can say? Desmot Mahus, even to the Dove who ride the currents of time, destiny is elusive. Alduin believes that he will prevail, with good reason, Rachmul. And he is no fool, ni me. Rinik Gutnol, far from it. He began as the wisest and most far-seeing of us all. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. <laughs> Finally. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? No, dragons like mountains, right? I never thought about it. You said you were going to answer my question. Um, I don't know, I'll just go with this one. Mm, true, but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Using the Dragon Ranch shell, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough, Okmulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Damn, this dragon talks a lot. I will see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to comment, uh, like the video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.